Today, thanks to the EA Sports Game Changer program, we are getting a first look at the My Player for FIFA 21. As always, this is early capture of the game, so not everything is official, ratings, gameplay, everything you see is subject to change. But we have the player career. We are gonna see what has changed, what hasn't, and what you guys can look forward to in getting the game this year and playing the My Player. Of course, my favorite game mode. If you guys are going to enjoy, leave a big old thumbs up and let me know your thoughts, your opinions. Let's get into it. So you probably see me use it in recent videos. We finally upgraded from our Walmart chair. Thanks to GT Racing. I'm gonna leave a link to them in the description. First line, check it out guys. Literally a super cheap chair that you guys should be able to pick up. It's actually really helped me overall with just gaming in general and it's so comfortable. So the model I got given is their new Ace model. Like I said, super cheap, super affordable. It's literally one of the coolest chairs that I've ever been given. Just the way you can adjust it. Check this out. Right, so obviously you can go up and down. Well, look at this, check this out right here, watch. You can go all the way back. Ready, wait for it, wait for it. You could sleep on this chair if you wanted to. It's so comfortable. And it literally reclines all the way back. So we got the downwards angle here because you can adjust the armrest as well. Up, down. You can also put them in and out. And then, of course, we got to do a 360 spin because why not? Absolutely amazing. Like, I totally recommend this chair 100 million percent over anything yeah what i just showed you is like the new 4d armrest like raising and lowering them you can literally move this chair in every which direction possible it's their new 4d armrest direction of course they got the high density foam which comes in in all parts of this chair the pillow on the back they have this removable pillow on the bottom as well which is like super super comfortable for your back so many of you are always asking me for like chairs you recommend and like i just said i haven't been really using a nice chair for a while i decided to reach out gt racing hit me up with this version and i've been super super impressed so far so again i recommend all of you checking it out giving it a chance as well one of the coolest things about it too is that there is a five-year warranty so you know if it breaks if something happens you can get a warranty on this and it, it literally you'll be able to replace it just like that in the snap of a finger there's other models too that have like built-in speakers on them and this is just one of many so i highly recommend click the link at the top line of the description check them out for yourself thank you gt racing for sponsoring this video and let's get back in for me this is legit the first time i'm checking out this game mode too so we're kind of doing this side by side right here boys like i have not seen this we have your create a pro we have your choose real pro you guys know we always got to create our own so let's do that right now pretty similar setup to what we had um in the, in the past fifas you get your your sort of main list of players that then you can go on and edit so i mean this is just a test video right so i mean i'm not too concerned with a lot of this stuff i'm not gonna make like the official player that i'm gonna make for my mob player series that i do in real life you guys will will get to see that in very due time we gotta wait till the full game releases i mean yeah so so far in the customization i don't really see too many differences overall to start the youngest you can make your player born in 1996 the oldest born in 2003 now in terms of body let's see what we got here the smallest you can go is 5'3 tallest is 5'9 and again it's just gonna I, I mean this is this this stuff has not changed this is the same from fifa 20 right positions we have play style do we have any new positions here i think there's some new play styles in here i'm well i at least i don't know for defender i've never really done a defending um my player i mean defensive mid right left all that is practically the same left forward right forward so positions the same it doesn't look like they've added left wingers or right wingers you can be a left forward right forward you can be a left midfielder right midfielder but you still can't be a winger which is a bit disappointing yes it says winger right here but i don't think that necessary we'll try it but i don't think that makes your player a left winger i think it's still a left midfielder now in terms of customization hairstyles are something that i want to see changed we it looks like this one is new a bit more thick of a beard i want to say that's new i, I could be wrong <laughs> boys i'm probably wrong on this new beards hairstyles look uh pretty similar to be fair what do we got for hairstyles always customization for me is something that i love to see more of I would love to see in the future customization similar to what we have in Volta and tattoos as well. It doesn't look like we have tattoos again this year, which is a bit disappointing. I'd love to see them just implement everything they have in terms of Volta customization in to FIFA in terms of the My Player. We'll go with, uh, I mean, it really doesn't matter. We'll go with the, with the dreadlocks here for our boy. Wait, what's his name? Do we get a name for this dude? I think it's Lance Hill. Lance Hill. That's kind of funny. 
It defaulted my name to Lance. The name of my channel has Lance in it. EA, are you guys are you guys watching me right now? Hello? All right, advance born on January 1st. Whatever. Here we go. Starting at the team of our choice. Let's go for a prem club. Let's go for Leeds United. Also, it doesn't look like the new kits have been added. So these are the same kits from last year. Like I said, all this stuff is it's not even the real game. All of this is subject to change because we're playing the game so early. Here we go. Wait, sorry. Leeds United is who I wanted to go with. There we go. Right. Leeds. Let's go. Oh, yeah. And this is new. This is the same as for, um, I believe, what is this? Just normal career mode, normal manager career. Negotiation strictness set the club and player strictness. Transfers. So we can do strict transfers, loose transfers. I don't really know how this is going to affect the my player. I want to try this strict feature. Obviously, we can't do the financial takeover because, well, you guys know, there is legitimately no need we don't get to buy players let's throw Leeds United in the Champions League yet again it's still the same Champions League table from last year let's take let's take Man City out sorry Man City Leeds United in they do not deserve a place in the Champions League but we're throwing them in regardless and everything else stadium is Leeds's new stadium in the game yet it is not but I think I don't know for sure but I think it's gonna be in FIFA 21 I think we just don't have it here right now. Okay, football is back. Here we go, boys. That's the new uh, starting screen right there, we see. Let's go. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. This is the first career mode video I'm doing. I, I have probably uploaded other career mode videos before this, but in terms of me recording the videos, this is my first one that I have recorded. I'm just posting it a lot later than the Chelsea career mode, whatever the hell else I've been posting. So here we go. Come on. Let's go. Let's load in. Right here it is. We, I guess we don't really need to save our career. This is the only time we're going to be playing this. Let's go. Here it is. The brand new My Player Boys. We start with accomplishments right here. Categories, progress notifications, traits and celebrations. This is all the same. This is all the same. And I feel like that's going to be a common theme of today's episode, man. I mean, I had some high hopes for this game, but it doesn't look like much overall has changed. It looks like we have basically... All the same accomplishments. It looks like we... I mean, yeah. Everything's the same. You started as a four-star skiller. Um, that's probably a bug. Yes, very much a bug. You got to work your way up, man. You got to work your way up. Yep, 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 yep. Um, that's going to be a bug. I'll have to report that to the EA team. Hopefully, that will be fixed before launch. But um, that is accomplishments. So, in terms of training, it has been switched a lot. All the way you train your player for the manager career mode, his is it, it looks really cool. You have you know daily training sessions. You can organize them however you want. I don't think that's been implemented in the player career, but I'm about to find out right now. Pretty similar, I'd say. Um, uh, you can now see your best grade for drills, which is pretty cool. That's probably the first new feature we've seen. So you can see how well you've done in the past on these all specific drills. I'm just going to load my player up with just a bunch of random ones. Are there any new drills? In-game free kicks. That one might be a new drill. Um, Most all of these are the same. I'm just trying to notice. I mean, it looks like there's a few new ones. Collect the trophies might be new. So, yeah, it looks like there's just a few new training drills scattered without in here. Right, let's, uh, we may as well try one of these out, right? We may as well try one of these training drills. Oh, wait, did I just go into an offensive one right away? Oh, rip. Probably not the best one to start out. Yeah, this is definitely, oh, no, this is a new training drill. So, you go from defense to offense. All right, that's, that's kind of cool, I guess. I still have the trainer on, too, as well. Like, legit, this is my first game, my first time ever playing FIFA 21 career mode. The first time ever. Here we go. Oh, he's offside. What am I doing? Right. So you see here, we got an A result in that drill. So it should keep that as, there you go. You can see our, our latest best grade for all of those drills. Simulate the rest of them. D, D, D. Okay. So it looks like, it looks like you, it might just default to D if you simulate. Hmm. I kind of like that. It makes you like actually want to focus on the drills. But I don't know because there's a lot of times where I'm just, you know, you can train once a week, right? A lot of times, I, I don't want to train every single day. I'd rather just simulate them. Hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about that. But I guess it provides a little bit more realism. Like, you can't just simulate your way to success. You actually have to grind. All right, so the next thing I actually want to check is the new loan transfer system, if anything has changed. So I've gone in and I've loan requested my player. And you do it the same way. You do it through the squad hub. You go in. 
and it should say transfer alone, but I've already clicked it. Um, and of course, you're going to retire too. At the very end of this episode, we'll see what happens when you actually retire with your player. We'll give that a look. But let's see what happens when you move teams right here, if anything at all. And this is something too to take note at. Um, once you edit your player, you can only change a few things. It's the same as it's always been. I've been repeating that same line. It's the same. It's the same. It's the same. Kit number, kit name, commentary name. Can't change your height. Can't change your position, man. Yay. Oh, why'd you have to add all this stuff to the manager career, not the player career? In the manager career, you can chain players to different positions. In the my player, you're stuck on one position the rest of your career. Great. We're stuck being a left midfielder. We're not even a left winger. It says playing style winger, but we're a left midfielder. It is how it is. It is what it is. It's the same. Um, you can still edit your face and everything too. Kit, all that, boots, all that can be changed. But yes, as for positions, it is It's the same. It really is. I mean, it's. I, I got I to gotta tell it how it is. Here is uh, the traits as well. Now, I don't think there are any new traits. Correct me wrong, but I, I believe these are all the same as well. <laughs> Something else that hasn't changed for a long time, objectives. Ever since I can remember playing the My Player, this objective screen has been the same with a different background. The objectives change as your rating gets higher, but overall, this is the same. This is the complete same. Nothing new here changed whatsoever. Objectives. You don't really get anything if you complete them. Maybe you play more, play less. You don't really get any sort of rewards at all. And the My Career, your overall progress. Yes, request to move, retire and become a manager. All the same, the career summary. Um, I wanted, I want like, I want to be able to do something with my money. Money is irrelevant in this game. I want to be able to use and spend the money that I make make each contract worth it make it actually worth me moving to another team maybe that's how you upgrade your player instead of these stupid accomplishments you actually use your money use your wages to upgrade your my player throughout like give me something of use to the money all right let's um let's check out a game here one thing we don't have either is the new simulation screen we don't so we have hill Where's our dude at? He is playing over on the left midfield side. We do have quick sim, but I believe, hold on, what's customization? This is just like, yeah, select sides, change kit, game settings. All right, fair enough. We all know how to do that. That's just the same old screen. But what I should be able to do here, I think quick sim just ends it right away. I think it just ends the game right away. Has it? It has just ended the game right away. And he'll scored. Hold up. Wait. This would actually be a super dope feature. When we simulate games, does our player actually play in the game? Because normally in the past, it didn't do that. I don't think so. Um, wait, unless there's two players on our team named Hill. That could be the only excuse for that. So Leeds, Hill number two. Was our player number two? Why can't I remember what his number was? Hold on. I, we, we have to go have a look here. Because this could actually be game changing if it is. Come on, come on, come on, Hill. Please be the right Hill. Please be the right freaking Hill. Oh my God, it wasn't, no goals. What number were we? We are number two. Yo, hold up, hold up. Why does it say we hadn't scored? Um, I'm gonna have to report this because this would be such a sick feature, man. I really, really hope. So it's not, so it's, no, it's saying we've scored. It's saying we've scored. Yo, that's a dub, finally. Yes, go. Yay, this is sick. All right. If we didn't get anything, this is something super cool. I've always wanted this. I've always requested this. If you sim a game, your player now actually plays in the game. Bless up. Abs bless up. That is awesome. All right, fair play. Not much has changed, but this one is big. This one is, is actually legitimately big i love this I, I freaking love this yeah we can go back i want to test this too if you sim does everyone default to a d it it defaults to oh it default it defaults to your best grade i guess right because we just got an a again on that huh interesting interesting that it does that right there all right we have uh been agreed to go out on loan so we're gonna be leaving leeds united just as in this test run to see what happens as for this next game, this is we're still in the preseason tournament. You know what? Let's put this to the test again. 
I just want to see how this works. We're still a 66 overall. I don't think we can earn accomplishments by simming. Have we scored another goal? Doesn't look like it. Oh, we didn't even score a single goal that entire game. But you can see, in terms of the whole thing, did we play here this time? I don't think we did. No, we, wait, I'm looking at the wrong screen. We did. We got a 5.5 match rating. Mm, not good, but like at least you can play in the simulations. Thank God for that. All right, so we're not we're not getting any offers as of yet to go out on loan anywhere, which um which could be a bit of a problem. Like I want to go out on loan. I don't like I want to see what happens when we leave teams. We've simulated a while. All right, one thing I do. Oh, we haven't been selected. Yo, no, rip. All right, we're not in the starting eleven, but it says we're in. Am I, am I looking at two different hills? That's so weird. Hold on. Look at this, boys. No, it says I picked. Did it not just say I haven't picked you or am I? I think I'm, I might just be blind. I think I'm blind. And now we're out. Okay. Like I said, this is an early version of the game, boys. So this stuff should all be fixed upon um, release. But now it says I'm not. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I'll definitely have to alert EA about this because um, that's just uh, a bit of a little bug that we've seen right there. But in game one, I lost to Man United. RIP. All right, next game versus Chelsea. I actually just want to like see what gameplay play is like if it's changed at all in the my player. Um, we're not gonna play like a full game here, but I, I just want to see and get a glimpse of what we could be looking forward to in this game mode. So let's try it out. Right, you guys are familiar with this. The pre-game introductions, the players kicking around, nothing changed. I don't think we'll probably get too much change with opening cinematics, opening graphics. I don't really think so. I think most everything should be very similar to what you've seen before. Stamford Bridge, same opening production. Yeah, I mean, th 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 this is this is legit all the same. So nothing, nothing new here really to see at all. All right, we got Timo Werner though. That has changed. Player, uh, all the players that have been transferred have been changed. So here we go. This is this is legit. It. This is the my player for FIFA 21. Chance for Chelsea. Nope. All right, let's go Lance Hill. I just love how they gave us the name Lance Hill. We're through. Come on, boys. Oh, my God. First chance. World-class difficulty. Do I sweat it? Nah. Cut back. It didn't let me do a fake shot there. Oh, my God. I butchered my first chance ever in the My Player. Here we go. Play it up top. Play it up top. I'm calling for the ball, bro. Here we go. I have a rip. It's a great block. That was not a smart shot whatsoever. We'll stick with it. Or will we? No, we won't. Great through ball. It's played in. Oh, my God. Am I making a good... I think I'm making a good run here. Play it off top of the box. Come on, man. Is that... Is that Bamford? What is he doing? Oh, boy. I don't think the Rodrigo transfer has been made for... Uh, for Leicester. And he's off. Sorry. For Leicester for Leeds. And he's offside. Here we go. This is a goal. Near post. Oh, my goodness. Yo. Is that Kepa? I was... Ke that is unrealistic. Yo, EA. Kepa does not make a save like that ever. Oh, my. Here we go. Let's get something going. Play that through ball, bro. What are we doing? Here we go. Through ball. It's in. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow, man. World-class difficulty. This is the first game I've played of the mod player. And it's already winding me up. I'm in for a long year of this game. Here we go. This is our chance. Inside. Through ball, boys. Oh, shoot. Shoot. Let's go. There it is. First goal. Hill. <laughs> Why did my teammate not just shoot the ball? What was he doing? Can someone explain to me? I'll take it. You know what? It's fine. We scored. Look at this. Oh, I'm, I, I, you know, it is my fault. The ball was played a little bit too far, but it works. It works. There it is. That's the first goal of the my player that I've scored this year. So what we should be able to do now, because I do not want to play the rest of this game, jump to result, boom, game over. It sims it for you. Perfect. And we were the only goal that was scored. Leeds gets the dub. Let's go. So it's looking like we're not going to, I mean, no, no team has offered us at all to go out on loan and it might be because strict negotiations are on but we have we've yet to receive an offer yet i think i see why is the transfer window even open i don't see the is the transfer window open um let's see if anyone's moved on the news feed yeah the, the transfer window is open we're just not receiving offers right deadline day this is it i mean if we don't get an offer here we're just not gonna get to see how it works with switching clubs and if we don't I can, here we go loan oh i have an offer have I just been ignoring this offer? All right, well, we're going to accept it. I guess it just didn't show up. I mean, I didn't get the notification. Maybe it showed up while... It had to have shown up while we were while I simulated on the calendar. Boom. We're moving to La Liga, I believe. Football's back again. We get the same graphic. 
it, I mean, I don't think, I, I think it's the same. I think it's the same here. Here we go, new club. Yep, unload from Leeds. And we're at our new team, right? Not too much change there. I think we're gonna end it, boys. Um, The only major change that we have is when you simulate games, your player now plays, which I think is a big one. When you look at it in terms of everything, there needed to be more done. This is what I'm gonna tell you guys right now, all right? And I want you guys to listen. I'm an EA game changer, right? I am gonna make it my personal goal this year. And I've been trying to do it in the past, but EA have always, they've, they've been focused on manager mode this year. Fair, all right? Fair, we didn't get into my player. I'm super happy with career mode this year. Like, as much as I hate that my player hasn't changed, I love the manager mode this year. I think it's gonna be fun. This next year, the mod player is my mission. I need change. I'm pushing for change for you guys. I'm going to be the voice of the people, and we're going to make this great mode great. Right? Sound good, chat? Unfortunately, not too much this year, but we got a lot to look forward to in the manager career. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you guys later. Peace.